we cannot tolerate the fact that there are individuals who every morning wake up and tweet angry things about people, get on talk radio all day long about how angry they are over policies they disagree with. Well, let me tell you, friends, we're angry now. Now we're tired of it. We're tired of one part of the political spectrum saying how angry they are and how they want to make America great when they're ruining the America that makes us the, the difference in the world. We don't want to be like Russia. We don't want a totalitarian leader. We don't want someone to say, you're my people and I want my people to stand up. The people of Westchester County, when I speak, you can stand up, sit down, give me the Bronx cheer. You're Americans. You're free to believe whatever you believe. And we don't, we're not owned by a president, not this president or any president. We need to make a statement about this issue because it's a human issue. Well, we need to make a broader statement that we believe in an America that's inclusive, an America that's tolerant and understanding. The zero tolerance that I have is for bigotry. The zero tolerance that I have is for hatred. The zero tolerance that I have is for dividing these people from those people. And if we stand together, whatever our skin color, whatever our party affiliation is, if we stand together in, in the run, we will win, and we will turn this country back into what it has been before this administration decided to redefine what America was. This is barbaric. We don't treat people like this. Those days are over. We know what happened with slavery. We know what happened uh, during World War II. We know what happened with the Native Americans. We are beyond that. We are in a new era. We are in a new world. And we've had enough. It is time to end this policy. Bring those families back together. They say they've changed the policy. I don't know what that means. You ask the officials in Washington, they can't tell you what it means either. So I don't think any things have changed. We are a welcoming community. We are a welcoming nation. And America was built and will continue to be built on immigration. That is what we need. We've had enough in this barbaric treatment. Do you care that they're getting deported? Yes. We care. Yes. Do you care that children are getting separated from their parents and being sent to detention centers all over this country, including right here in Westchester? Do you care? We care. Do you care that this policy is nothing short of torture for those families? Do you care? We care.